Hello everyone, this is Gaurav from Automation Hacks and welcome to a new video on our series on test observability. In this video, we are going to take a deep dive into how report portal dashboards work and understand how you can you create some uh, good visualizations out of your data. So in the past, uh, we have been running uh, different tests. I have run mostly identity tests, but then there are some ad other kind of tests that are present in this repo as well. So you can go to readme.md and then like, uh, you know, run these different uh, test suits few times so that you get like some failed tests and some passing tests and things like that. Uh, now, a very key component when it comes to dashboards in report portal are actually attributes that allow you to group the cases properly. So what do I mean by an attribute? So you can see uh, if you come to like say report portal dot properties, you can see this RP dot attributes, which is a set of key value uh, separated by colon and then every unique key value is separated by a semicolon. Uh, you can think of it as metadata that I want to attach to a given launch or a test suit. So say like uh, by default, any uh, sort of suit that runs in this repo, I wanted to have this group of test infra. This could be say an overarching organization. I want to also tell what kind of test this is. So I'm say I'm saying this is a backend test type. I might uh, anticipate to add like mobile or UI tests in the future. And I can, what I can also do is pass this uh, while running the test. So if I'm running these tests via the command line, I can also give uh, the same hyphen RP dot attributes, um, give a string uh, in terms of like quotes and then like separate these unique pairs. So you can see I'm repeating the same pair here because I want to make sure that these are passed. But additionally, I've also passed a team uh, sort of attribute, which is which might be useful in case I want to aggregate data at a team level, right? So now let's come to uh, the launches. You can see that there's a dashboard section and um, you can add a new dashboard. So say we call, uh, say I want to just call, uh, you know, identity, test health as a sort of dashboard that I want to create. This will give me a blank dashboard to work with. And now uh, what I want to do is I want to first understand what is the status on identity tests, right? Say that is one test suit that I'm going to run uh, every uh, run by run. So when you click on add new widget, you have these many widgets available. Some of these widgets are uh, useful for overarching sort of visualization. Some of them are very useful for a given launch. So let's go ahead and try to understand them quickly. So the launch statistics, uh, if we come here, uh, it, it allows, it basically asks us, okay, can you select a filter, right? So right now I have a filter which picks all the tests which are of type test infra. But say I want to work more at a identity level. So I'll just say like identity sort of tests as an example. And I can come here and uh, come to attribute. Say, remember the team uh, sort of parameter that I added. And I say, I want to say that, okay, pick all the identity tests. So you get auto complete here as well. And um, I want to just say submit. Uh, want to use this filter as an example and say I'm interested for now only in uh, the past failed and skipped metrics, not in any of the bug metrics that uh, that are there. Uh, I can select that. Okay, show me uh, the timeline, uh, which can be like this way or it could be at a launch level. I can choose bar or area. Let's go with area and come to next and then it will add me a dashboard. So now it can see that uh, for identity tests uh, across the different runs, uh, you know, the failures, I can see the failure trend, how much was the past cases and how much was the total cases. So this is good. This can give me a trend in terms of, okay, what's happening and uh, you know, is the failure trend increasing or not? So let's keep on going. Overall statistics is kind of like a metric which will tell you like, 
okay, what are the overall metrics, right? Say I am interested in not the entire lifetime launches, but I just want to see what is the uh, latest last runs status, right? And give me like a donut view or a panel view either way. So say I want to select this again, I unselect the bug related uh, fields and go to next step, create the widget. So you can see it get, tells me, okay, in the last run, four tests failed and 10 passed. So it gives me like sort of an idea on the latest launches. Um, say I want to understand like, okay, how much time are my tests taking, right? So I can say um, again, say for the latest launch or all launches, say I want to understand like, okay, for all my launches, how are the duration? So you can see, okay, uh, in the last launch, it got finished faster. Uh, previously, it was taking a bit of time. So this can give you like some performance metrics on if your tests are slowing down and things like that. Um, now, uh, like there are a bunch of other things as well. One of the most useful is like, can you show me all the failed cases, right? And the flaky cases. So there are a couple of things I can see most failed and most popular uh, cases as well. So let's come to most failed and say I want to say previous 30 uh, sort of launches. I need to give a test suit here. So I need to give like, okay, I want to see this for identity tests, right? And I don't want to include before and after methods and come here. So you can now see that it will tell me uh, what are the cases that are failing most often. So test delete and test create often fail. These are the ones where we introduce like, you know, artificial uh, sort of breakages. So you get some bit of analysis at a launch level. Now this is not overarching sort of trend. It's more at a specific launch. So you might want to create specific dashboards which target a given test suit that you want to debug, right? Uh, similarly, I can see a trend in terms of failed cases. So again, let's go with identity tests, uh, try to see. So you can see the failure trend has uh, picked up. So more tests started failing in the fourth launch. So this can give you like sort of a trend that you can try to understand are things going well or are things going in a bad way, right? So um, you can compare uh, how the behavior was across different launches. So I can say, okay, for identity, tell me how it was in the different launches. I can see the same kind of historical trend at pass failed, but more in like a bar chart view. And I can also see how many bugs were created and stuff like that. Now, uh, you can keep on going and actually explore most of these widgets. So if I want to say, understand, how my tests are growing, I can select that, go for a timeline or a launch mode view, um, come here and then see, okay, uh, for across the different days, how is the test looking like, uh, you know, how many cases were added, how many cases were reduced. Um, um, and say I want now like some sort of a split. So I am currently focusing this on, uh, say like, uh, you know, like identity test. But what if I want to take a look, take a step back and understand things more broadly. So I have this dashboard at test infra level. And what you can see is um, I have the capability to then do some aggregate kind of metrics as well, right? So what I can possibly do is like, I can, uh, I have this component health check and component uh, health check table view. So let's understand this. So say I want to, um, you know, pick all the cases at a test infra group level. But what I want is like, give me statistics that are at a team level, right? So I can actually come here and I can say, uh, all right, use the team attribute on the sort of uh, columns, right? I can say, okay, what is the minimum passing rate for a component? I can again, select, show me for the latest launches or all the launches. I can add more dimensions as well and come to next and then add, uh, let that table view kick in. It will take us a little bit of time. Uh, I can also do component health check, uh, do pretty much the same thing quickly. So I'll say team, uh, go to next. Uh, okay, show me for latest launches only, click on next step, add here and then wow, nice. So what you can see is now I can also do a uh, sort of team level metrics here, right? I can see that, okay, uh, if I want to use team as a dimension for splitting my launches in the last launches, 
onboarding and performance uh, teams were doing pretty good right in the suit that they had but identity team is kind of red and there are some failures here so i can click here and then it will directly take me to all the failures as well which is very very good you can it not only gives you bird eye view but also gives you like leaf level sort of information that you can use right fantastic and actually the table view if you see, while it took a little bit of time this gives you similar data in a different visualization so you can see like okay these teams are good uh, identity failed it has 57 percent and what is the overall pass rate at a team dimension right so what you could imagine is the sky is really the limit here you can introduce more dimensions and then use this component health check view to uh, you know split it accordingly you could use this to derive trends uh, across teams say across at a given uh, say functional flow product line build whatever it is the platform is quite open how you want to use it is primarily up to you and um, whatever filters you create you can see that these are present here as well uh, you can also like you know uh, use them uh, here to actually filter your uh, sort of suits so this way like even a single project could be used by multiple team members so i hope like this video gives you an idea on what how powerful like report portal dashboards are and how quick and easy it is to set up some quick visualizations that gives you picture at an engineer level at a given uh, launch level but also at a leader level where you can step back and get some aggregated metrics so i hope this was useful and you'll make use of dashboards in your projects uh, let me know in the comments uh, how you like this video if there are questions please drop them i'll definitely make a point to answer it and uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you like the channel, give me a sub. Uh, this encourages me to put out more content for you. Uh, and I'll see you next time.